All right, example five, it says, suppose another manager was surveyed for the salary study from example one. The data from this manager is in the table. Make a new scatter plot of the salary data that includes the additional point. So we need to add a point here. We're gonna say they have 20 years of experience and they make $85,000. And so once I do that, all my data shifted around. I don't know if you noticed that. So uh, we've made the new data scatter point and so here it is right there let me take a picture of this to add to our graph so here's my new snapshot of data these pictures are always so large there we go and part b it says uh calculate the correlation coefficient and the least squares regression line so my correlation coefficient that's the r and so my correlation coefficient, let's just see here, the new R is approximately, uh, where is it? 0 0.8582. And you can see this is not as accurate as it was before. There's the correlation coefficient and the least squares regression line. That is uh, this equation here. So it's we usually write it as Y hat would equal the slope now is 1,889.64 x plus the um, y-intercept of $60,057.20. And so uh, this, because this scholar got off is because we had an outlier. What the outlier is, you can see this is way off the line of what we're expecting to get. And so what the effect does this outlier have on the strength of correlation? And the correlation strength was weakened. So here the correlation strength is weakened. Now I would still say it's a strong weekend. I forgot the end there. Uh, I would still say it's a strong relationship because it's greater than 0.8. So the textbook actually goes like 0.7, but I, I kind of go off of 0.8 being strong. And so it is weaker. It is still strong, but it's weaker. All right. And uh, what does it now mean in terms of real world is that each year you work, you'd make less, but you would start with more according to this data. Okay. So here's part C. It says, um, plot both the regression lines in the same window. So we want to compare them to and state whether or not that outlier is influential. So we've seen one, let me go ahead and grab the previous picture that we had. So I'm going to grab this and now we're going to compare this with uh, the same picture, but without that last point. So let me just take this one point off and we're gonna look at the data here. Then we'll compare the two. So let me pause this to get everything lined up right. Okay, so here are the two pictures. And if you want to determine whether or not you think this was influential, you could take a look and compare. So this one has the outlier, this one does not. I would say it's very influential because you can see as far as salary goes, starting at 57,000 versus 60, I would say it's influential and not just that, but the rate at which your salary increases as opposed to over here, um, I would say it's very significant. I would rather start with a lower salary or actually I would actually start to here, work a year or two and then try to get on with this company. But I would say it's very significant because you can start seeing that after, uh, let's say, 10 years of service over here, you're making approximately uh, $84,000. But over here, if you work 10 years, you're not even making 80 yet. Uh, you're about 79,000 or something. That's a big difference, $5,000. So, uh, and that would only increase as time goes on. So I do, I would say it is uh, influential. I would say it's influential. The outlier is influential. Personally, I would say it's influential because of that. So that's my reasoning. Uh, and so here is your turn for DOL number five.